the South, in ruin and desolation, will bitterly repent the day when she attempted to overthrow a wise and beneficent government. I cannot feel justified in specifying particular instances of fidelity. The officers and men were prompt, steady, and brave, and performed the several parts assigned to them in the most gallant manner. Defeat should only make us more faithful still to the great cause of humanity and civilization, in order that every disaster should be more than compensated for by an enduring victor. My servant, Robert Holloway, a Negro, was taken prisoner at Bull Run. As he has been with me for many years I of course am anxious to get him again. Thus my whole brigade was brought into the engagement at the earliest possible moment, and succeeded in compelling the enemy to retire. McClellan appears to think I am not trying my best to carry this bridge. I was not informed of any duty upon which I am to be placed. Any person found guilty of treason will be tried by a military tribunal and either imprisoned or banished to enemy lines. I will never give my influence, either as a private citizen or a public servant, for war, so long as it can be honorably avoided. Major Ballou, was deserving of the highest commendation as a brave soldier and a true man. Captain Reynolds is deserving of praise for the skill with which he saved the lives of his men. Defeat should only make us more faithful still to the great cause of humanity and civilization. It is a sad duty to record a defeat accompanied with a loss of so many valuable lives. Every disaster should be more than compensated for by an enduring victory. It is not death therefore that is burdensome, but the fear of death. No troops could have behaved better under fire.